Welcome to Top 10 Archive. At the end of each day, typically no matter what part of the world you're in, a cratered orb illuminates the night sky. We know it best as our moon. But have you stopped to think what you really know about that natural satellite in the sky? Journey with us back into the deep of space for these 10 amazing facts about the moon. Number 10, a lunar time zone. Some of us have a hard enough time converting the time zones on Earth, but there's actually a 25th zone you may not be aware of. It's called Lunar Standard Time, and just as it sounds, it's the conversion for figuring out what day and time it is on the moon using your local data. Say for instance, you're in the Pacific Time Zone, or GMT-8, and it's December 13, 2016 at 146. On the moon, it would be November 8, 1949 at 1126 in the morning. The massive jump from 2016 to 1949 is mostly thanks to the moon's rotational period, which is equivalent to just under 30 Earth days. Number 9. Lunar Phases You've probably heard about the lunar phases, specifically the full moon and the myth about how it alters human behavior. So, what are the different phases of the moon and what precisely do they mean? Based on the relative position of the moon and the stage of its orbit, we on Earth are treated to what looks like different slivers of a lunar pie. At all times, the sun is lighting one half of the moon, leaving a shadowed half. If the sun, the moon, and Earth are in approximate alignment, you either get a full or new moon, depending on if the lit or shadowed side of the moon is facing Earth. The other phases, first quarter, waxing gibbous, waning gibbous, third quarter, waning crescent, and waxing crescent, are created based on our perception and how much of the lit and shadowed portions of the moon we see. Number 8. Size of the Moon Compared to Earth, the moon's diameter is almost 5,000 miles or about 8,000 kilometers smaller, but it looks quite a bit larger when compared against some of the other natural satellites in our galaxy. At 2,158 miles or 3,472 kilometers in diameter, the Moon is the fifth largest natural satellite and over 258 miles or 415 kilometers larger than the next largest satellite, Jupiter's Europa. Beating out our Moon in size are Ganymede, Callisto, and Io of Jupiter, and Saturn's Titan. Number 7. Helium-3 How are we going to sustain life on Earth is a question of concern as we continue to burn through fossil fuels but it's possible that the answer is only 238,900 miles or about 384,500 kilometers away. The substance is helium-3, a non-radioactive helium isotope that is rare on Earth but is found in abundance on our satellite. Known for its use in nuclear fusion research, MRI scans, and its viability in cryogenics, helium-3 is turned into a sought-after material that countries like China are setting its sights on. According to Professor Uyan Chuyan of the Chinese Lunar Exploration Program, the moon's supply of helium-3 could meet our energy demands for upwards of 10,000 years. The United Nations Outer Space Treaty proposes that the moon's resources are for mankind and not one nation, which could prove a rocky area when China, Russia, and the United States implement their proposed mining operations. Number 6. Dennis Hope, Galactic Realtor as we mentioned, the United Nations Outer Space Treaty clearly indicates that the Moon is the property of mankind as a whole, meaning no nation can claim it as their own. In the early 80s, desperate American Dennis M. Hope took the verbiage of the treaty to mean that the Moon was unowned land and, needing money, filed a claim of ownership with the UN. When he received no response, he proceeded to subdivide and sell the property to whoever was willing to pay the cost. Hope made so much off of his scheme that in 1995, he was able to quit his job and turn to galactic real estate. Along with the moon, Hope also claimed acreage on Mars, Venus, Mercury, and Jupiter's moon, Io. Thinking long term, Hope formed the Democratic Republic of the Galactic Government and spent three years writing a constitution to protect his property from the inevitable intervention of much larger nations. I'm also the elected president of the Galactic Government until we hold our first general election. Number 5. Lunar Conspiracies We've all heard about the group of people that refuse to believe we landed on the moon, but did you know that conspiracies don't just end there? Along with the claims that the 1969 moon landing was fake, there's also a theory, the hollow moon hypothesis, that claims the moon is really an alien spacecraft. Initially proposed by the Soviet Academy of Sciences members Michael Vassin and Alexander Shubakov in 1970, the theory states that the moon is a planetoid devised from advanced technology for the purpose of, well, the aliens haven't quite said why yet. 
A little less drastic than the hollow moon theory is the alleged discovery of a secret alien base by pictures from the Soviet Union's Luna 13 spacecraft, which is believed to have been substantiated by photos taken by the Chinese. Number 4. Distance over time Some relationships just don't work, and it appears that one between the moon and Earth is a little rocky. Like lovers that spend so much time together but never say a word, the distance between the two is gradually increasing. Of course, we know that the moon follows an elliptical orbit and is at varying distances based on this orbit, but the average distance between Earth and its satellite is changing at a rate of 1.48 inches or about 3.78 centimeters per year. As the moon affects our tides, the increased distance can alter life on our homeworld. Days can slow down to longer than a 24-hour period, and seasonal differences across the globe can be far more drastic. The one upside to this is that any drastic changes will take billions of years to show. Number 3. The Dark Side of the Moon No matter how you look at it, there's an entire side of the moon that we'll never see from Earth. Due to the slower rotation of the moon, the same half, or the near side, is stuck facing us. This wasn't always the case, as millions of years ago, the moon had a faster rotation until the Earth's gravitational influence caught up to it and slowed it down. With all of that said, let's clear up one thing. There technically isn't a dark side of the moon. Despite the fact that we don't see it from our position, the moon's far side still receives plenty of light. In fact, the surface tends to be a lighter color, possibly due to the Earth side's history of ancient magma flooding leaving behind more dark spots. Number 2. Lunar Seas Speaking of those dark spots we can see from Earth, what exactly are they? Known as Lunar Maria, the spots, which cover about 17% of the Moon's surface, are basaltic plains formed by volcanic eruptions in the days of yore. The name stems from the Latin word for sea or mare and comes from astronomers once thinking they were actual bodies of water. The confirmation of composition came from lunar rock and soil samples retrieved by the Apollo 11 mission and, based on the findings, the Maria were dated to about 3.9 billion years ago. During this period, the surface suffered constant and heavy salvo from asteroid-sized objects causing craters that would be sustained for billions of years before being flooded with magma during volcanic events. Number 1. Colonizing the Moon You've just learned all this new information about our neighboring satellite, but the question still remains, when are we going to be calling it home? Believe it or not, despite much focus being placed on colonization of Mars or some Earth-like planet, the Moon isn't completely off NASA's radar. In fact, during the 2010 Global Lunar Conference in Beijing, preliminary plans for a future lunar base were revealed, and according to Bernard Fueng, Executive Director of International Lunar Exploration Working Group, the desired completion period is by 2050. Fast forward six years and you have claims from Alexandra Hall, the senior director of Google's Lunar X Prize, a competition aimed at developing low-cost robotic space exploration, touting a period of five to seven years. Joining the United States in the race to claim the moon are Japan and Russia, who are both aiming for a 2030 completion for a lunar base. Oh, Mr. Moon, Moon, bright and shiny moon, won't you please shine down on me? Oh, Mr. Moon, Moon, bright and shiny moon, won't you come from behind that tree? Oh, my life's in danger, but I'm scared to run. There's a man behind me with a big shotgun. Oh, Mr. Moon, Moon, bright and shiny moon, won't you please shine down on, please shine down on, please shine down on me?